Olivia from Hopeful Honey here. Today we're learning how to crochet the dragonfly stitch. To begin, chain in multiples of 12 plus 17. Let's move on to row 1. So to begin, skip 3 chains from your hook. This counts as the first double crochet. And in that fourth chain, crochet a double crochet. So yarn over and insert your hook in that fourth chain. Yarn over and pull back through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through those first two loops. Two loops left. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. There you go. Now crochet another double crochet in that next chain stitch. Great. So you'll want to continue repeating, crocheting one double crochet in every chain all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row one, it's time to move on to row two. To begin, chain two. So this counts as that first double crochet. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now crochet one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So this is your first double crochet. Now your second double crochet. Great. So now we're going to do our repeat. So for the repeat, you need to crochet one double crochet in each of the next four stitches, then chain one, skip one stitch, and then one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So let's begin on the repeat. So remember, one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So that's two double crochets, you want to do another two. Now you need to chain one, so yarn over, pull through that loop on your hook, then skip that next stitch, and then crochet one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And there are a few more double crochets to go. Perfect. So you'll want to continue repeating that pattern of crocheting one double crochet in the next four stitches, then chaining one and skipping that next stitch, then crocheting one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you've reached the end of row two, it's time to move on to row three. So chain two, remember this counts as the first double crochet of that row. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now crochet one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. There you go. Now it's time for the repeat. So for the repeat, you need to crochet one double crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip three stitches, then crochet one single crochet in the chain one space, chain three, skip three stitches and crochet one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So let's start on that repeat. So remember one double crochet in the next stitch. Then chain three, so one, two, three. Perfect. Now skip three stitches. 
then crochet a single crochet in that chain one space. So insert your hook in the chain one space, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now chain another three chains, so one, two, three, then skip the next three stitches and crochet one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So that's your first double crochet. So three more double crochets. Two more to go. Last one. There you go. So you'll need to continue repeating this pattern of crocheting one double crochet in the next stitch, chaining three, skipping three stitches, then crocheting a single crochet in the next chain one space, chaining three, skipping three stitches, and then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches, all the way across to reach the end of row three. Once you reach the end of row three, it's time to move on to row four. So to begin, chain two, which counts as the first double crochet, then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now crochet one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So this is the first double crochet, then the second double crochet. Now we're going to start on our repeat. So for the repeat you need to chain four, then skip one stitch and the chain three space, then crochet single crochet in the single crochet, chain four, skip the chain three space and one stitch and crochet one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So let's begin. So you need to chain four, so one, two, three, four, then skip one stitch and the chain three space. Now you need to crochet a single crochet in that single crochet. There you go. Then chain four. So one, two, three, four. Then skip the chain three section, that first double crochet, and then crochet one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So this is the first double crochet. Now the second double crochet. And the third double crochet. So you'll need to continue repeating the pattern of chaining four, then skipping one stitch and the chain three section, then crocheting a single crochet in the single crochet, then chaining four and skipping the chain three and one double crochet, then crochet one double crochet in each of the next three stitches, all the way across to reach the end of row four. Now that you've reached the end of row four, it's time to move on to row five. So to start you need to chain two, counting as the first double crochet, then turn your work in the other direction. Now crochet one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So this is the first double crochet, now the second double crochet, So we're going to start our repeat now, which is four double crochets in that next chain four space, then one double crochet in the single crochet, four double crochets in the chain four space, and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So let's begin. Remember four double crochets in that chain four space. 
So this is now your second double crochet. Two more to go for the chain four space. Last double crochet. There you go. Now you'll need to crochet one double crochet in the single crochet. Then you'll want to crochet one double crochet four times in that next chain four space. So four double crochets in total. So that's the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. Now crochet one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So this is one, then a double crochet remember in that next stitch, so the second stitch, and then one double crochet in the third stitch. Perfect. So you'll need to continue repeating this pattern of crocheting four double crochets in the next chain four space, one double crochet in the single crochet, four double crochets in the next chain four space, and one double crochet in the next three stitches, all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row five, crochet a double crochet in that next stitch, the turning chain. Now, I also changed colors on this last stitch, but that is completely optional and up to you. There you go. Now, it's time to move on to row six. So to begin, chain two, which as you can remember, counts as that first double crochet. So one, two. Then turn your work, so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now, crochet one double crochet in that next stitch. There you go. So continue crocheting one double crochet into every stitch all the way across to reach the end of row six. Now that you've completed row six, you'll want to continue repeating rows two, three, four, five, and six until you've reached your desired length making sure to change your yarn colour every time you repeat row 6. This is how the dragonfly stitch starts to look after you've repeated rows 2 to 6 multiple times. You'll immediately notice how due to the combination of change stitches, a whimsical dragonfly design starts to pop out over this entire fabric. A handful of reasons why I love to use this stitch is because I find it the ideal stitch for crochet newbies to give a go as it is fairly simple to learn and master, thanks to the basic stitches used, yet it still creates an interesting and fun texture. By being reversible, the stitch also looks beautiful, no matter which side is on display. As the dragonfly stitch does work up into an extremely quirky, yet airy fabric, it works perfectly when crocheting bright, colourful afghans and lightweight shawls. Music